Okay, so today we're continuing my occasional Great Negotiator series. And one of my goals in this series has been to choose people from different professional backgrounds. So, so far we've had an academic, we've had someone from the entertainment industry, we've had a diplomat. Today I'm looking at the sports industry and I'm picking somebody who is a personal friend and truly a great, great negotiator. And his name is Ron Shapiro. He's been described by USA Today as, quote, one of baseball's most respected agent attorneys. And I have to tell you from my own experience with him, that is absolutely true. So in fact, his clients include more Hall of Famers than any other agent ever. They include folks like Cal Ripken, Jim Palmer, Brooks Robinson, Kirby Puckett, and Eddie Murray. And they also include six-time Minnesota All-Star Joey Maurer. Now, you don't get a client list like that by luck. You get it because you're really great. And today, I'm gonna share just three qualities that Ron has that make him a truly great negotiator. First, Ron is the master of preparation. He is just super prepared for every meeting he has every negotiation. And specifically, he kind of has a three-step approach to this. So first is what he calls draft. So by draft, it really means the substantive preparations, right? So thinking about what are your client's interests in his case, right? What are the other side's interests? What options might be available to meet those interests? And what are the criteria we would want to use for deciding? One of the things Ron always says, which is completely true and so key to negotiation, is the other side doesn't have to lose for you to win. And really good negotiators, as they're drafting, as they're preparing, are really thinking about how do I give a win to the other side? So they're spending time thinking about their interests. The second D in this preparation is devil's advocate. It's basically thinking about a bunch of contingencies. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? And really good negotiators are thinking several steps ahead so that they're not in an act-react cycle, but they're really driving their purposes in a strategic way. And the third D in his preparation approach is deliver. So what that means, and I find this highly resonant in my own coaching practice, is it's one thing to have a bunch of things on paper, and it's another thing to actually do it in the room. And so what Ron suggests is that you actually practice by actually saying it aloud, by finding someone to do a moot. And one of the great things about Ron that I've even been the beneficiary of is he makes himself available for practice and coaching doing moots together. So preparation, key trait that Ron has. Second, Ron really works behind the negotiation table with his clients to help them meet both their short-term and their long-term interests. And I think this is the way he really distinguishes himself from other sports agents. Many sports agents are over-focused just on the dollar amount because the dollar amount makes headlines. Um, and it is often the case that a young baseball player, for example, their nature is also to be highly focused on the dollar amount. The problem with that is that we know from research that human beings are likely to fall victim to something called a focal bias error. That is, they overfocus on the high status and salient part of a negotiation and miss the fact that there are a whole bunch of other interests that in the long term actually matter more to them. And one of the great qualities of Ron as an agent is that he actually works with his clients to help them think through not just the dollar amount, but what else matters to them. So an example involves Joey Maurer. Joey Maurer, right, this incredible baseball player, also had an interest in not moving around, but really staying with the Minnesota Twins. And so Ron was able to not only get an incredible negotiation deal for Maurer, but also a longer term contract, one that met his interests. And so that in fact, his entire professional career was played with the Minnesota Twins. And now Joey Maurer's 
number is retired by the Minnesota Twins. The third really key quality that Ron brings to the table is that he builds strong and personal relationships and builds trust. He does this in all sorts of ways. So I've had the pleasure of getting to know Ron in many, many contexts. Um, for any number of years, he spoke in my negotiation class at Harvard Law School. And one of the things that I just marveled about is how he would remember names and details. He would remember a student he met a year before and say something like, how is Toby doing right now? Or he'd remember one of my colleagues like, oh, you know, how is your colleague Flory's dog doing? And I thought that that was so impressive. More than that though, he actively works to stay in touch and be concerned about your life and who you are. So I consider Ron a personal mentor and at various different times in my life, including times when I've gone through a rough patch, I've always known that I could reach out to him and get high quality support and counsel. And so that ability to inspire trust, to build a personal relationship, and to see the other side and the people in one's life as three-dimensional makes him incredibly reputable, both as a negotiator and as a mediator. That Ron sees that deals are more than just the details of the transactions, but they're about people and about stories and about narratives and about well-being. So all of these qualities make for a premier negotiator. And even in his retirement, Ron is widely sought after as an advisor, a consultant, and a coach in negotiation. He advises professional sport teams, CEOs, he mediates, um, and just everybody who knows him thinks of him as getting incredibly good substantive deals, but also as a superlative mensch. And the three qualities he brings that make him worthy of this great negotiator label are first, he is super prepared on the substance. He knows his interests, his options, criteria, but it's also thought through, how do I give a win to the other side? Second, he works behind the negotiation table to help his clients think about short-term and long-term interests to prioritize and to sort them. Third, he is excellent at building strong and personal relationships. Unlike many sports agents who people say, oh, he gets a good deal, but nobody likes him. With Ron, he gets a good deal and people think the world of him. So I'm gonna invite you to stay tuned now and watch this next video on another of my negotiation mentors, the founder of the Harvard Negotiation Project, the great Roger Fisher. Also, please like this video Ring the bell so you'll be notified when I drop new videos. And if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you have ideas for great negotiators, please drop those ideas in the comments. I love to respond to some of the people that you think of as being great negotiators. Okay, if you wanna be great, keep on watching this next one. Click, click, click.